Deftones, Be Quiet and Drive, Easy Acoustic Chord Method. Okay, so for this method here, we're just going to be in a standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. And the thing about this is, uh, I'm going to be doing this uh, in about a half a step lower than the recorded key. Um, if you want to match the exact recorded key, you could just take a capo and put it right at the first fret. And then everything I'm showing you here, you just basically play relative to that capo. All right, so we would do our C chord like this, you know, starting at the fourth fret, because this is kind of acting as our open zero fret now. Okay, so uh, if you want to stay in the recorded key, that's what's going on there. Just capo the first fret, play everything relative to that. Uh, but for our purposes here, just so if you don't have a capo or don't want to mess with a capo, uh, we could play it like this, and we'll, we'll just basically be a half a step lower than the actual recorded key. All right, so this initial intro and pre-chorus section, it's basically jumping between a G major seven to C major seven chord. And we can make it work nice and easy here with this shape. Basically, we just do the third fret on the E, fifth fret on the A, and then this kind of unusual fourth fret on the D string. All right, and then under that, we could just kind of hit the open G with it. And it's just kind of a four strums on it, just real distinct strums. All right, and then after that, to get the C major seven, all we need to do, just take that shape that we have here and just drop it down a set of strings, okay, like this. So just three on the A, five on the D, and then we'll have the four on the G. And then under that, you can hit the open B string. You could even hit the open high E string if you want. It will sound fine. So that's all, all we're doing, just going between those chords, four strums each like that for the intro and the pre-chorus section. All right, now for the main riff, the, you know, the verse and the chorus, uh, basically we're just going to jump to a straight up C chord. So 3A, 2D, have the open G, the one on the B, and an open high E. Okay, real important that you, you know, hit the C bass note and the open high E, because those are like the two main notes that we really want to emphasize here. All right, and the strum with this, basically, you know, we're doing like a one, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two. It's just kind of like this, this loose shuffle going on. Something like that. Okay, and after that, we just shift to our, our second chord, which is the A suspended second, and we could even throw in like a, a extra low E bass note with it just to kind of get it bigger sounding. And all we have to do here is just do the open E, open A, then a two on the D, two G, open B, open high E. And we're basically strumming that in a similar fashion that we did the first chord. Um, but we include this one little bit here where we do like a strum, one, two, and then on this next strum, we're going to hit the first fret on the A with everything and basically hit it and then just pull off, like lift off of it. Okay. All right. And then essentially repeat that twice. All right. So... A couple more strums, and then we do that one to open pull off with all the other uh, notes there on that A string. All right, and essentially we just bounce between those two chords like that through uh, most of the song. All right, and there's a fun little kind of walk up scaling that happens uh, within the main riff section here. Um, it's all kind of contained within those same first chord there, that C chord. All right, but what, what we do is we strum the chord, and then while we're continu continuing our, you know, shuffling strum, we lift off that one of the B, hammer it onto the open to one of the high E. Okay, give it a couple more strums with that one there on the high E. 
Then we come over with the pinky, hit the three on the high E, give it a strum, and then just take it right back to that one on the high E for a couple strums. And then just go into that second chord as we usually would. For the bridge section towards the end, uh, basically we'll just do two strums of the C, and then we just mute the strings. I just kind of like, you know, re reach over and just lightly have the pinky touching all the strings. So it just deadens everything. And it's just kind of a one, two, one. All right. Kind of trying to hit that fourth fret. It's nice to get that harmonic there. All right, and we would just do that three times. And then we do this bit of a walk up power chord. Uh, this will be an E flat to an E to an F power chord. And I also like to throw in the extra uh, compounded bass note on top of it. So basically, um, we're doing the one on the A, one on the D, and then the three on the G. Okay, kind of just a nice fat power chord there. The extra bass note on top. And we just slide the ones and three, hit it, slide it up to the twos and four. Okay, give those a couple more strums. And then hit it, slide it up to the threes and five and then give that a couple strums. And we just repeat that whole thing. <laughs> 